Get a job, they say. I did have a job. I did. When I was running from my domestic violence abuser, I did. And when he found out where I was, I left. But guess what? While I was there, I found out I knew how to do eyebrows really good. I was decorating everybody's eyebrows with gems. I was doing their hair. Like, everybody was loving it. I wasn't just a minimum wage worker. I was somebody. That's how you But you know what? Things got hard. My kids got to flicking me off when I was just trying to just be a mom. But... Now, since my kids got taken and now they're with the domestic violence abuser, I'm just going to trust God. What to do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. We back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we stay in lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my player partner, Lucky Wizardiers. Check out his YouTube channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button, baby. Hit the links down below in the description. Hit the opulent sense, man. Buy you a candle, man. Get one for your boy. How did we get here? Y'all don't know who we are? We are with the girl Real Tanae. Tanae for real. Off of TikTok. She's the, she says she was one of the uh, baddies. I am guess I forgot if it was baddies. West West Coast baddies. Uh, her daughter's the 13 year old uh, SW. Uh, it's a lot going on. Now she got her kids taken away. And she's pregnant again. Okay. Who who didn't read those signs, okay? And she apparently has some twins that are taken. So let's get into this whole story of how she got her kids taken. We last left off where her daughter was picked up with DCFS, okay? That was one situation. Now she's back with her daughter, okay? She said, they can never make you hate me, okay? They can never get you to hate me. Yeah, she's not doing well. She did a prank on her grandma. She has a lot of inspirational things that she wants to do. I think she wants to give her life to Christ, but she's just not there yet. This morning crying and my mom texts me and she lives way in Texas. And she told me that my song was on Ready to Love season nine. Look at God. How you don't know your song is on a TV show? Shouldn't you be getting paid for that? It was a beautiful day in the neighborhood, children's services, but let's focus on these children here. Bye! Okay, I got over the fact that y'all put a perm on my kids here without my permission. But these shoes, I can't get jiggy with this shit. Damn, Daniel, where's the soul at? Uh-uh. I gotta report it on video because I don't know where they live at and I don't know if the social worker gonna report it. Got my kids running from the people. Give mommy a kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Give me a kiss. Now give me a kiss, pretty girl. Oh. oh, pretty girl. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Don't know where them lips be. I got you. Come on. If anything, I'm the only one to calm them down. I'll see you, okay? Bye, baby. Bye. I gotta get my kids no, back. Love you. Be that bitch that you always remember. That female that you always want to care about because I had a genuine heart. So you gonna sleep around a lot trying to match the love and loyalty I gave you. Niggas don't know what they have until they lose it. And then that's when they want to come crawling back. And I'm sorry, baby, and flowers. Like, I'm going to Girl, you lost your kids. Two or three. You lost your kids. You worried about... Uh, another nigga, girl. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Is she pregnant again? Somebody, this chick gotta be stopped. Oh, no, Diddy. This is when she's pulling up to P. Diddy's house. Interesting. Why would you? No mind. I asked God to take me to Miami, and He did. But He also was the one to get me out of Miami. No, Diddy. Oh my gosh. I don't under any. This woman says I don't understand any of your content. You should do a story time. No one does. This girl is lost. I leave YG just to get to South Beach and end up at Diddy House. Like, girl, this girl is losing her kids to CPS, but she's at Diddy's house. Interesting. 
They told me to pick pretty girls to bring them to Diddy's house from Club Live. So me was with me, so I picked her, not knowing what was going on. Lord have mercy. This girl that ended up at Diddy's house for real. Let me see what the comments say. Uh, comments ain't talking about that. Come get it tattooed. You better be getting your kids' names tattooed. <laughs> you better be. <laughs> this chick do the most of a person who lost their kids. Now she out here made a whole music video. Where's the video about you getting your kids back? This is crazy. Pretty big, right? <laughs> look, look. Okay, so I love hood niggas because you're in I know we, I'm in the music industry and like basically all no, of my you're not. friends come from the streets. No, you're not. Like even with me, like when I used to go to the studio, I'd be straight, fresh off the streets. They'd be like, "Where have you been through today?" I'm like, "Oh, I got a scenario that I just went through five right. minutes ago." Like, right. I love something that I can really relate to and some type of protection. We all love aggressive right. ass hood niggas because right. they can protect us. Like something crack off, like nigga, you're gonna save my life. Right. Mm -hmm. And exactly. Exactly. Or y'all <laughs> could lose your life. Like, come on. That's why her key is gone. That's why. This is exactly why. Uh, let's see so story. it was a girl, and that girl was me. This girl right here is a survivor. Is someone who can put her mind to anything and can make it happen. So at this moment, you know, this girl was working at a boutique running from a domestic violence abuser yes pregnant and all okay didn't care about none of that didn't care about what people was gonna say not even him so anyways she started working at this boutique and the boutique owner was like you should start doing wigs the way you do your wigs and you should start doing eyebrows so i did and i started to do everybody in the neighborhood all of my homegirls all of everybody who wanted to pull up but this is just a reminder to not give up on yourself and to do something. And don't be afraid to stand up. Yo, she's still trying to throw the cheeks back and she look big as a house. That yeah, baby ain't got no chance in hell, okay? Come get the baby now. Doing all that I can do as a single baby mama and just trying to get closer to God. And I was doing that. I started me a channel. I started to do prophetic words. I mean, God was really paying my rent. Supernatural blessings was happening. And I was good, period. That ain't nothing like seeing a black woman feeling herself. Yeah, not an insecurity showing, not a flaw to be mentioned. There's a whole lot of bad big shit going on, you feel me? Like seeing a black woman feeling oh, she ain't got Look at my two beautiful babies. What the enemy meant for evil, God will make it for good. I pray. And when I pray, everything that I pray for comes. In Jesus' name, amen. Look at my two God babies. will make a way. The enemy when foster care evil, comes God after foster care. I'm back with another word. Don't I look like a lion right now? So the Lord wanted me to speak about being as bold as a lion because that's what it says in the Bible, to be as bold as a lion. Why? Because he know the devil is coming for us. He know that people are coming for us to make us feel down and to make us not know the power that we have inside of us that God gave to us. The God-given power inside of us, every single last one of us has it. But some people don't know that they have it. They think that they don't have it. They're worrying about the outside and what things look like. They're not walking by faith. They're walking by sight because one thing the devil likes is for us to feel like we're not able. Like we don't have like the ability to do what it is that God needs us to do. He needs you to be as bold as a lion because that's the only way you're going to go against the enemy. Be bold as a lion because when I need you to say something, I need you to say it. When I need you to do something, I need you to do it. When I need you to fulfill Whatever I need you to fulfill, because God has things for us to do. It's a lot of assignments that God has me to do. And I'm like, God, am I equipped to do it? God said, you know you are. I'm going to say this. Her words can be powerful. And if she really believes this, she can make a change in her life. But she has to take the steps to make a change. You can't just have one foot in and one foot out. You, If you want to give your life to God, you got to give it all to God. You got to leave all this ratchet crap alone. 
that means social media, that means the music industry, that means everything that's of these worldly sins, if you really, really believe the words that you say. When I did that, when I really, really believed the words that was coming out of my mouth, that was speaking from my heart through my mouth, um, that wasn't given to me when I was praying all these affirmations and, and I was putting in the work and I stopped all the nonsense, my life accelerated. I don't know about this chick though, but I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt just by the words that she says. No, I'm not smiling. <laughs> nice. It's, it's over. God sees in you what you don't see in yourself. And that's why he chose you to break generation cycles. And he Please to donate a dollar. You, that no man can shut. That no man we can lost shut. everything. Housing, furniture. Because he wants to be a witness all. for what he's about to do. <clears throat> furniture is all we need now after the class is since January. You want them to be a witness for what he's about to do. So keep faith. God sees Get a job, they say. I did have a job. I did when I was running from my domestic violence abuser. I well, there you have it, folks. Tell us what you think about today. Like, ever since her kid, her first kid, the 13 year old SW, was out there, these other two girls, I don't think they stand a chance in, 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 in a cold day in hell. Okay? But I'm going to pray for it because this, you know, and then she's pregnant again. Yo. The guy who got her pregnant, yeah. apparently she's calling you an abuser. So, you know, but you got the kids. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I believe CPS need to come get that new one out your belly as soon as it drops. Um, you need a you need a life overhaul. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>
not pass me by hit the cash app make sure y'all hit the links down below in the description we got opulent scents where you can get your three wick candle or the single wick candle and you can get your foam and or foam body bath scrubber stuff anyway keep your lid big dog peace